Hey guys, it's Flora, and for today's video, I'm going to be doing a what is on my iPhone 6s. 6s. And I have the iPhone 6s, because I just said that. I have the 64 gigabyte in the gold color, and I love it. I have been an iPhone lover pretty much ever since the phone came out. I got my phone a few weeks ago, and it is like... 10 times better than any phone I've ever owned before. There's so many features and I'm pretty sure there's like tons I haven't even figured out yet. Two things before we get started. If you have not seen my iPhone 6s unboxing, I'm going to link that in the description below so make sure to go check that out. And also if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe because uh, I don't know, it's awesome and you should just subscribe to my channel. So let's jump into it. So here we have a more up close and personal view of my iPhone and I just have a clear case on it because I think it's a really pretty phone and I didn't want to cover it up because I really, really like it. And here's my background, it is just me and Jacob. And there's the 3D, tu 3D touch which is probably one of my favorite features. And for my background I just have this little cute pastel polka dot color and I just think it's really pretty. Over here I have my messages, I have my calendar, and I have my my pictures, all of my pictures, I take way too many pictures. That was us at a pumpkin patch, and right here we picked cotton, which was really fun. We didn't make any t-shirts out of that though. And then we have the 3D touch. And there we go, we have the 3D touch, and I'm going to be honest, there's my camera, me talking to you guys but I really do not use the 3d touch that much because I actually find it kind of difficult to use and it's just not really the most convenient for me but then I have the weather and currently in Virginia Beach it is 70 degrees and there's not much sunlight and tomorrow it is supposed to rain all day which is just absolutely wonderful and then I have my clock I have one alarm because I deleted the rest of my alarms and then I have the maps, videos, and just your standard basic iPhone settings. I'm trying to like get you guys in focus. And then at the bottom here I just have my phone, email, Safari, and my music, which is my favorite. My favorite thing about my phone, I need to put more music on there because a lot of it is really old, but that's okay. And coming over here, I have FaceTime, calculator, and in this folder right here, I just have some of the basic iPhone apps that I don't really use, so I just group them together in a folder. And then I have my fun folder, my Facebook Messenger, Instagram, if you want to follow me. My name is LaraN93, and you should, you should definitely follow me on Instagram because I'm always on Instagram. Here's, here's my profile, and yep. So over here then I have my Facebook pages, I have this page called 14 Days of Loving My Body which is my health page for any of you who are interested about health, something fun to follow. And then I have my Snapchat which I am on literally every day of my life. My life kind of revolves around Snapchat a little bit. And in this folder right here I just have some more basic iPhone apps that I don't really use so I just put those together in a folder. And then I have this really awesome app called Coco PPA, this, this little guy right here. And I actually really love this app. I get all of my backgrounds from here. And there's so many options to choose from for customizing your phone. What did I just do? But yeah, I mean, there's, there's so many. I don't have time to go through all of this, but I mean, it's a pretty awesome app. They have all these, all those selections. So, and then I have Pinterest which I am on literally, I am just addicted to Pinterest. I get all of my recipes from here, all of my, my life is on Pinterest. My life comes from Pinterest. So, and then over here I have my photo editing apps. And here I have this one called Square Ready, which is what I use for a lot of my Instagram pictures. And, yes, you may. And there's that, which is a really fun app. And then I have Wittagram, which is basically kind of the same thing. And just, there we go. You can edit Instagram pictures, which is one of my favorite things to do. 
And then I have Snap Collage, and this is the app I use for making picture collages. What, what is that? Why is there an ad on there? So, there we go, we'll use my cat. And we'll use that picture, and I mean, there's so many cool, it's not even in the frame, but there's so many cool collages, and that's my go-to collage maker. And then I have this really cool app on here called Rookie, and this is just a really awesome app. There's so many, see, we'll, we're just, we'll use my cat again, but there's so many different, there are ads on here, which is kind of annoying, but, 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 yeah, I mean, there's like different lighting options, and it kind of gives you the opportunity to go above and beyond the basic Instagram filters. And then we have Afterlight, which I'm sure all of you know about Afterlight. And again, just a really cool photo editing app for lighting. There's so many different filters to choose from. I don't, I don't know why it's asking me to pay right now. I, mean, I have not used Afterlight for a while, but I do use it. And then I have YouTube, of course. Let's see, being slow right now. There's my channel, which obviously you guys are on right now. And then I have my bank information. I have my email. This is what I use instead of the iPhone email. I just have my Yahoo account. And then I have my Geico insurance account. I have my FCCU bank account. I had to look at that. And I have my words with friends. And yeah, currently I'm only playing with two people right now, but that's a game I love to play when I'm bored. Then I have my Pandora app. And then I have my period tracker, such an important app. So anyways, that is going to be all that is on my iPhone. I hope you guys enjoyed. I need some new apps, obviously, because I do not have that many. So if you have any recommendations, make sure to let me know in the comments below of some really cool apps that you enjoy. And I'll see you guys in my next video.